All right. Hello, everybody. All right. So today I'm gonna be covering every single assault rifle in the Borderlands 2 mod, uh, Borderlands 2.5. Which is basically a mod that changes how the whole game works, changes all the weapons, all the skill trees, and even rebalances the game. But for now, I'm just going to be covering all of the weapons, and in episode 1, it's going to be the assault rifles. And I'm just going to go in order based off the manufacturer, and I'm going to start with uh, the bandits, or the bandit assault rifles. So first one here, the pearlescent, it's the flesh ripper. This replaces the saw bar, and um, it only comes in fire element. So what it does here is as you shoot, it drops projectiles. Or the original bullet drops more bullets as it travels. So I don't, it's not very easy to hit the target practice here with it. But those drop projectiles do much higher damage than the weapon itself. So like here that's 946k and then here it's actually that looked to be about the same. Nope that right there was 1.892 so it's about double the damage of the main bullet here. And then in addition to that it's also just got um, a much higher fire rate than most bandit assault rifles at 15 shots a second. But it does have to build up that fire rate. Uh, it has to like kind of spin up like a flat off assault rifle does. Alright, but the next one here, it's the duality. Uh, it's the legendary one. And, oh, I do want to say, so I've got blades on all of these weapons just because blades don't change the stats of the gun itself. But uh, the duality, this replaces the madhouse. And it shoots these kind of spinny projectiles that have shock projectiles spinning around it. When you shoot, the shock ones split into three of the shock ones. So you can see the non-elemental and the shock right there. And when you shoot, it splits into a, a lot more of the shock projectiles. Uh, so that's the duality. And then next is the pinball. So this replaces the chopper, and you can see it has higher crit damage in addition to a very high fire rate and a smaller mag, but better reload speed, and then really high base damages. You just see the fire rate there, and then the crit damage here, it's 810 on a body shot, and then 200, 2 million on a headshot, so it's doing almost triple damage when you score a critical hit. Alright, and then on to the doll assault rifles. You got three pearlescents and then one legendary. Uh, so dark side here, this replaces the Varuk, and what this one does is it does splash damage. It fires three round burst when you hip fire, and it does splash damage as slag element in addition to whatever the element on your gun is. And then when you ADS, it's full auto. It also has a times three projectile multiplier. All right, next one is the demo man. This replaces the bearcat, and uh, it has five projectiles per shot and a much higher fire rate than the other doll assault rifles. And you see, it fires these five grenades that'll stick to surfaces. And these actually don't do self damage. So you see right here. They will not hurt you. But something you can do is you shoot these at the floor and you wait a couple seconds. You can uh, do what's almost like a rocket jump, except it's with this assault rifle. So if you kind of max out your fire rate, you can get some very high jumps with this weapon. That is the wrong place. Anyway, so next AR is the Tactician, and this replaces the Seraphim, and it is locked to Corrosive Element, so it will only ever come in Corrosive, 
what it does is it shoots a projectile and it shoots a second projectile that travels very slowly after it. So if we go down here to the target dummy, as you can see there's a 313 right there. So then when you give it time for the projectile to actually split, you'll see this at 313 and it does it twice. And this has a three round burst. And the next one is the Tactical D11. This replaces the Scorpio. And it just fires like a regular assault rifle when you hit fire. Um, it does have a very high magazine as well, 81 rounds. But when you ADS, it fires, I believe, 10 additional projectiles at the cost of 5 ammo per shot in a 3 round burst. So you can see here, at 282. Right there, it's 1.8 million. Alright, so then on to the Jacobs. Uh, there's quite a few Jacobs ARs, actually. So, the Helios. Uh, you see it's got a slower fire rate, and it's time 7, and 3 ammo per shot. So what this does is, there's fires normally there. But, um, if we go in here fires and kind of a so fires in a regular projectile pattern there but as you get further or once you're far enough away the projectile splits much like the becca does which is actually what this gun replaces places the becca you do have to get really far away for that projectile split but you'll see it splits into fire projectiles there and they kind of travel in each shape like um, the heliospace I'll actually go outside to show this. It's a little easier there. Yeah, you can see right there. It's uh, kind of in an H pattern. And uh, those projectiles deal incendiary damage. Let's see if we can get the projectile split on the target dummy here. Nope, not light hmm. uh, how far away do I have to get for this okay you see right there I did fire damage and the fire damage seems to be much higher than the base damage of the weapon. Where did I stand for that? Yeah, that might also be fire on flesh, but I don't think fire on flesh is quite that strong. So I think that the fire projectiles just do much higher damage than the actual projectiles. So the Jacobs here, this replaces the Hammer Buster and uh, has very high base damage at 700,000 there. And then it fires in a two round burst in addition to firing lasers, much like an E-Tech sniper rifle does. And then I can't confirm this yet, but I believe that the projectile does pierce. Yeah, you'll see it hits him and then keeps going and bounces. And next here is the New Hope, which uh, its special effect is just very high critical hit damage, and this replaces the Stomper. So you see there, 530,000, and a headshot, 3.8 million. And next is the Desperado, just replaces the Damned Cowboy, and just fires normally there, except. See that when you hit a surface, it splits into explosive projectiles, and I believe it splits into five. It also does it splits into non-elemental projectiles that do explosive splash damage. I believe there's still one more Jacobs here. Yep, the Scrapper. So the Scrapper has extremely high base damage, and just improves stats all around. Except it consumes two arrow per shot. 
And the special effect here is that it does explosive damage. Alright, so now we're done with Jacobs. Onto the Torg Assault Rifles. And these are actually some of my favorite in this mod, the Torg Assault Rifles are. And there's five of them here. Alright, so the first one here is a Starburst. This place is the Gerblaster. And, um, it's very similar to the Gerblaster. And that, uh, 105% melee damage. It's actually only 50 from the blade. The extra 55% is coming from the combination of Torg Barrel, Torg Body, and Torg Stock. Those increase the melee damage of your weapons. You'll see all of these have slightly higher melee damage than the rest of the weapons here. So this one is going to shoot a rocket. And that rocket's going to release a grenade, which blows into a pretty decent sized Nova. And uh, so the rocket, that's going to be rocket damage. And that one is going to deal grenade damage. So things that increase grenade or rocket damage will increase the effectiveness of this weapon. So next we have the Cascada, which replaces the Ogre. And this one here, you see it's times two at the very high mag size. So it's going to fire two projectiles and then you see that it fires those these two extra projectiles here that travel slower and they kind of wave left and right. And it also has the you can see right down here it's got this little like a uh, effect that'll trigger sometimes when you reload. And that increases your fire rate and your damage and causes your projectiles to ricochet when they hit walls. And then both uh, the main projectile and the extra projectiles do grenade damage in addition to their standard bullet damage. Next here is the Titan. And uh, so this one actually spawns at several different barrels in this part uh so it's not always times two right now it's times two because it's flat off barrel but uh, it can be times one with slightly different stats depending on which barrel you get i just chose flat off because uh that was the option i chose but it has very high base damage and you'll see my shield capacity it's at 1.2 million but when i switch to the titan it goes up to 1.47 so it's about a 25 percent increase to your shield capacity while you're holding this weapon, that is. Alright, next here is the Piranha. You'll see it's very high damage and a very high pellet count. And then really low accuracy and fire rate and slow reload. And it's 2 in per shot. What it does is it fires rockets. And these rockets do do self damage, so be careful of that. Okay, that's the Piranha. We've got one more here, which is Torpedo. And you see it has very high base damage and then kind of lacks in the other stats. And what it does is it just fires a rocket is really all it does. That seems to just be a very powerful version of the standard Torpedo Assault Rifle. Alright, um, next here is Vladov Assault Rifles, and I believe there's five of these as well. Alright, so the first one here is Master Blaster. Uh, he's got a very high fire rate and a very high mag size. And it fires lasers. That's really all there is to that one. The Drago here has very high base damage, but a low fire rate, and it gives 200% melee damage. So you'll see right here, 2.1 million. That is with a 50% bonus from the blade. Here, 4.2 million. So yeah. And then just the really high base damage of the gun. And uh, like the Titan, this one... Actually, the Drago and the Dominator, they don't always spawn with that Vlad off barrel, so they're not always times two. 
It's actually his Dominator, which I'm going to compare it to Blastmaster. So it's got actually a bigger magazine, a bigger fiery, and then better damage. But uh, it also doesn't spin up, you see? It's right there, you can't really see it. So I'm going to go outside for this one. So when you fire it, it drops these explosive projectiles. And so I guess it's really good against big enemies like um, Saturn or certain raid bosses. And I believe those do grenade damage, but I could be wrong. Alright, so next here is the big mood, which places the kitten. And it's kind of just a very good AR. Uh, this one is not fire lock, but it is always elemental. And you'll see it fires. That's not a very good test. Um, put that right here. Fires in a sad face, so kind of opposite of the kitten, which it replaces. Instead of firing a smiley face, it's a frowny face. And then next here is, or the last AR actually, is a uh, Tosoka, and this replaces the hail. And again, like a lot of the weapons, does not always have a lot of barrel, so this your stats can vary slightly depending on the barrel you get and whatnot. So what this one does is it fires projectiles and they kind of just explode right in front of you. So you have to get to almost melee range. Actually, yeah, you have to get into melee range in order to hit people with this gun. But I'm going to go ahead and compare it to just this weapon right here. It's got a very, or that's the wrong weapon. This one here, it's got um, a pretty high fire rate and mag size and just to a higher dot damage and dot chance. This is very good weapon for igniting enemies and things like that. But you do have to get very close to your enemies to hit them. So not quite to melee range, but almost there. So it, it's a very high DPS weapon, but you'll see it cannot score critical hits, and you, you have to be really close to use it. But that's all of the assault rifles in this mod, and uh, thanks for watching. Next episode will be pistols. See you there.